my total water intake for day four was 250 cl i also made cucumber water which is actually a refreshing drink you guys especially if you let it chill in the fridge for some minutes before you drink it's quite refreshing for breakfast i had acha I just want to wash a bit of it and boil it so I'll just do like jollof acha and mix it I'll use it with the remaining cabbage sauce I'm scared of that cabbage sauce Remember the very peppery cabbage sauce that I made? Yes, that cabbage sauce. I had to finish it somehow. For the last portion, I added some tofu in it to give it that protein mix. So I had my vegetables from the cabbage and the carrots and other vegetables that I made the sauce with. And then I had my tofu, the protein, and for my carbohydrates, I got acha. Now, for those that don't know what acha is, it's an alternative for processed white rice. It's usually recommended for people that are diabetic. You can make acha in several ways. You can make it acha pudding. You can make acha jollof with sweet potatoes, you guys. It's ah! Memories, memories, I'm reminiscing right now. You can also make acha swallow and eat it with soup. When I was thinking of alternatives for quinoa, because I could not find quinoa anywhere around here, so I thought to myself, I can have acha instead of quinoa or chia seeds. You don't have to break the bank when it comes to eating healthy or when it comes to detoxification. If you don't have money for chia seeds, I heard that thing is expensive. You can buy acha and bake your acha pudding with it. You can always make it work. If you don't have broccoli, you have spinach or ugu. I, I don't know the name for ugu, you guys, so please don't. comment the name for ugu leaf if you know <laughs> the English name for ugu leaf. I don't know. For lunch, I just went through my day basically having my cucumber water. It was so filling. Day four, I was really, really full. I was drinking so much water. I was having so much cucumber water. I could not even have a proper lunch. For dinner, I had the remaining acha and cabbage sauce with tofu, and then I had an orange to just, you know balance everything break everything down and digest everything so yeah that was the summary of day four the headache was beginning to reduce i was feeling better but i was still feeling quite full and bloated just putting it out there i don't know why i'm doing this detox you guys and it's simply because of my energy levels okay so yesterday i was watching this video by this doctor so he was talking about how you would know your detox is working and a lot of things he mentioned like headaches in the first few days even bloating mood swings and energy level you know just advising you just rest just go to sleep and do not think much about it because i was trying to like exercise exercise yeah but then apparently when you're strictly on plant products you know you're trying to detox you don't need to do that much exercise sometimes sleep is just what you need okay you maybe you just stick to low energy exercises like you know simple yoga and stuff like that walking and I did a lot of walking yesterday. I noticed my energy levels in the mornings are getting better. Like this morning, I'm like full of energy. Usually by this time, I'm already pushing my mouth. I'm angry at the world. <laughs> I'm just like, why did I have to go and choose a nine to five job when I am not a morning person? Probably I am a morning person. All I just need is not to eat carbs before going to bed. So yeah, note to self, do not eat carbs before bed because in the morning you feel like crap your face will be puffy you just feel like i want to be in bed but now my alarm goes off most times i even wake up before the alarm and i'm just like oh yay ready to take on the day how has it been so far for you if you're on this journey i really want to know in the comments below so yeah that summarizes day four let's move on to day five